exceptional selling starts with awareness and intention, which is part of awareness. It continues and persuades with attention, but it closes sales with action. Action is everything. Now I want to talk very briefly about attention. And for me, I said it at the outset, and if it is the only takeaway you have from this session, I'm happy with it. It is the most powerful drug in business with no side effects. So let me bring you back to about 20 years ago. I had remortgaged the house. I had cashed in all the chips because I dreamt of doing the impossible, making a worldwide presence for my brand as a speaker. Things had their ups and downs. Uh, in the main, there was no major highs on the journey, but I still believed. And by pure chance, in front of me, on my table, was a piece of paper with a phone number on it. It was the number of one of the key decision makers in an organization that, if I got to speak to them, without a doubt, would launch me worldwide. So I always remember that day because I don't, not usually nervous, but I was. I was nervous, the heart was beating fast because this meant more, I guess. This was so important that I got this deal. So I remember what happened. Uh, I says, okay, I'm a man of action. Took out the piece of paper, dialed the number. In my head, I was saying, oh, I hope it goes through to the answer machine so I can leave a lovely message in my lovely Irish accent and so forth and so on. Unfortunately, that is not what happened. On the third wing, ring, this woman was uber professional. She answered the phone. Hello, mentioned her name. How can I help you in a stern, cold way? So I says, hi, my name is Kevin Kelly. And I was about to actually get into my sales presentation when a knock came to my head. And I remember something that I learned years and years ago. I remember when I was, I was born in a shop, a retail shop, a convenience store for the American population out there. And at the age of six, I used to sit behind the counter and watch people come into this shop 50 miles from nowhere. 50 miles from nowhere, they would come in. And even at six, I noticed some would come in and tell me their life stories. Some would come in and they couldn't get out quick enough. Some would come in and be totally professional, all good. But what I noticed was that the more that I gave them attention and listened to what they said and what they didn't say, the more they came back to the shop. Indeed, at the age of seven, I believed that I was the youngest therapist in the world because I was listening to everybody's problems. What did I learn? The importance of paying attention. So let me get back to my important sales deal. So in my head, I'm going, hold on, I need to pay attention. What is her voice saying to me? What her voice was saying to me was, hey, I don't want to talk to you. I'm too busy. Get off the phone. So I did. I wonder what you would do. I wonder, have you had calls like that? What would you do? Well, what I did was straight away was Mary. That's not her name. I, it's clear that it could be a bad time. I'm just wondering, would there be an opportunity in the future to speak to her, speak to you? Immediately her voice changed. She was, she said, absolutely, no problem whatsoever. Much more positive. In fact, I'm available tomorrow. And I got to speak to her the following day. Now I won't go into what happened later, but for now, I will tell you it was the biggest gig of my life. Five figure deal, 5,000 people in Korea. How did I seal the deal? By paying attention. And it's called paying attention for a reason. You have to invest in the process. You have to invest 100% of yourself in the process. That's the value of paying attention. But it's very, very challenging at the moment. And here's the challenge, all on one diagram. Let me go through these figures here to explain what the challenge is. Every second, 11 million bits of data goes, goes through your brain. You have the ability to absorb 50 50, 5 oh bits of data per second. The average attention span in 2012 was 12 seconds. The average attention span today is 8 seconds. The average attention span of a goldfish is 9 seconds. That's the window we're operating in. 
47% of our time, according to Daniel Gilbert of Harvard Business School, our mind is wandering. We are interrupted every three minutes, five seconds when we start a task and it normally takes us 23 minutes to get back to the task. When we're interrupted, if we're interrupted for over 2.8 seconds, that doubles the risk of mistakes, according to the University of Michigan. But here's the turn in the statistics. People love talking about themselves. In most conversations, people want to talk about themselves 30 or 40% of the time. Now with the advent of social media, they love social media. Why? Because they get to talk about themselves 80% of the time. So here's my thesis. I believe we're operating in an attention deficit world. Yeah? But people still love to talk about themselves and people still love to listen about themselves. And that's what you've got to integrate into your communications plan.